Karolina Lundahl. I'm the executive board member for Finland. I'm also the deputy chair of the Coaching and Research Committee. We are working really hard to roll out the IWF coaching courses, even in your continent. Just give us some time. But now, today, I'm going to talk to you about the Finnish Weightlifting Federation Level 2 course, Identifying the Athlete's State of Mind When They're Ready for a Performance. It's really important to understand that all your athletes are different. So we coaches, we sort of need to be psychologists, which we really aren't. But sports science divides the athlete's state of mind into four major categories. Two of them are optimal, where we want to be, and two of them are non-optimal. And categorizing those by the mental energy that the athlete brings and then their attitude. The mental energy in the optimal is of course great. So we've got two pluses there for the both categories. And in the non-optimal, the mental energy is a negative. Then we have the attitude. The attitude is plus for the optimal and a bad attitude comes into the other attitude uh, optimal category. Again, in the non-optimal, we have a good attitude versus a bad attitude. Now, just looking at this, we can see that um, the athlete here in the plus plus is going to be energetic, alert, ready to go. And I want to add there also motivated. And then my athlete who has a bad attitude is most likely going to be tense, maybe even angry, unhappy, and they can, they can appear aggressive. Then with my athletes with low mentor energy, but a good attitude, so... They're the happy-go-lucky, carefree, and calm. And when I look at the last section, I have a tired, sluggish, non-motivated, and even insecure athlete. So just looking at these, I can see that my great results are in here and my problematic issues will be in this area. And as a coach, I need to be able to move these. So I have best Second best, unfortunately, I have worse and the worst situation. So the question is, what can I do? Now, if we look at the athlete with high mental energy, great attitude. So the coach is there to help the athlete. Focus on the performance. There. So basically, you might end up as just holding the water bottle. That might be the only task you get. But then we get to the problematic part a little bit here with the, with the bad attitude. Um, so the athlete possibly has a lot of issues their focus, they might be worried about something, problems at school, work, with their girlfriend, boyfriend, and life in general. And this is where the coach needs to step in and they need to harness, they need to channel the energy that the athlete has here. They do have a lot of energy. It's just that 
unfortunately, it's going the wrong way. So, the coach takes all the bad energy. We really need to get rid of it. There. And of course, we need to get the athlete thinking about weightlifting. So, eliminate problems. There. Then I get to my happy-go-lucky, uh, low mental energy. Uh, they've got no problems. Um, life is dandy. But the coach needs to raise the voice a little bit. Wake up! What do you need to do? Do it! Go out there. Come on! You need to work. And then, of course, our worst problem here is a tired, sluggish, non-motivated, insecure athlete. And we, of course, have to first ask the question about rest, nutrition. How's the, how are they in the athlete's life? But as a coach, when you come into the gym, you're looking at successful reps. Choose the weights, make good lifts, because that's, that's a great way to break the spell, mind I add, bad spell. And the goal of this is to increase self-confidence. Thanks for listening. Stay healthy.